It's all right, all right, all right. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, everyone. Yes, today again, we are here to discuss about Canada standard CV or a resume. In my previous life, I did explain the difference between a resume and a CV. So if you didn't watch that video, please go and watch it. This video, I'm not here to teach you how to design the CV and the resume, but I'm here to teach you the rules and regulations pertaining to job bank, what job bank is trying to tell you to do. So if you don't know how to prepare a CV or a cover letter, sorry, a CV or a resume, then please go and watch that video. Okay, go and watch that video. I always tell you that when you come here on YouTube, the first thing I have to do is to tap on the screen, change your resolution to a high quality so that you can see whatever is happening here. All right. So welcome everyone. Welcome everyone here. Can we begin now? Can we begin now? How many people are streaming now? Can we begin this lecture? All right. So as I told you, I am here to tell you about what Job Bank wants from you. Yes, I'm using Job Bank because it is the major website that you can apply for Canada work. If you are here, if you are here and you are you want to go to Canada to work, you want a work permit, employer specific, they are telling you to go and apply for job. And Job Bank is the only website that gives the LMI labor market impact assessment. Those companies giving LMI, they are all on Job Bank because before an employer can apply for LMI from the government, the employer himself or herself has to apply for a house to um, create a Job Bank account. So they have to use the, the, the online portal, that is Job Bank, before they can apply for LMI. And in fact, when you go to Job Bank, all the jobs over there, those having the LMI, they have indicated that this company is having the LMI. So if you are here and you need an LMI to apply for Canada work permit, then please go on Job Bank. That is why even right after teaching you how to do the CV, I'm still telling you what Job Bank require you to do the rules and regulations pertaining your CV. So once that, um, now that you know how to write a CV, after writing, come and watch the rules and regulations. Just watch it carefully and go through your CV and see if you have some of the mistakes, okay? The mistakes that they are telling you over there. You have some on your CV, then you make your correction to meet the 100% standard. I always tell you that I do design a CV and a cover letter. When I, um, I design a cover letter, a resume or a CV, I do add a, a cover letter to it. So if you are here and you are in need of a resume and a cover letter, just email me tips and just tips and just okay. I don't respond to any other messages apart from email tips and just not on TikTok, not on Facebook, not on Instagram. If somebody touch chat you any of these websites or these platforms, it is fake. Tips and just will only do business with you on email, on email, okay, on email. So send me email. If you it will take you two days for you to get a response, just be patient because the messages I get are numerous, okay? So just take your time. I will respond to your message and I'll give you the guidelines, how to pay the money, how the information I want from you before I can design the CV for you. But that is not the, 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 the purpose for today. The purpose for today is to teach you how to do it yourself. Okay, that is why I'm wasting my time to teach you the requirements, the rules and the regulations that Job Bank is telling you to do. All right, so I'm taking you to the website. I'm taking you to the website. Those on the YouTube, those on YouTube, you can see. Okay, so I am on Job Bank. That is Government of Canada, as you can see over there. Government of Canada. All right, I'm right here on Job Bank, and they have the sign in. Okay, the sign in, the Government of Canada, Job Bank. This is where we apply for LMIA. If you want any information about LMI, you click on the labor market information and you get a lot of information over there. Okay, if you want to search for jobs, you click on job search. Okay, but now I am teaching you a resume on the Job Bank, a resume or a CV. When you talk about resume, it is the same as a CV. You see, when you want to create an account here, they tell you that a job seeker or employer, this is telling you that even the employers giving you the LMI, they are all on Job Bank. So do the right thing because they are monitoring. The employers also know the rules and the regulations so you have to do it so that you can meet their standard okay fast forward how to prepare a good resume your resume must be clearly concisely strategically present and pre sorry present your qualifications to get a recruiter interested in meeting you that is what job bank is telling you your resume must be clear or clearly 
concise concise means short brief but detailed okay contain relevant information but brief okay that is concise strategically okay and strategically present your qualifications so you should present your qualifications strate strategically okay so that you can get a recruiter who is interested in meeting you so if you are applying for job bank and you're not getting messages you should ask yourself is it my cv or is it the resume you have to start questioning yourselves okay because that is what job bank is telling you all right it convey you should convey your skills work experience and asset that is what job bank is telling you that your cv should convey your skills work experience and assets the resume is used to describe what you can accomplish professionally in a manner that also illustrates what you can do for the employer that is your cv okay or the resume so basically it is describing what you can accomplish professionally in a manner that also illustrates what you can even do the for the employer because you are not the only person going on job bank to apply Ghanaians are applying nigerians are applying kenyans are applying south africans are applying zimbabweans are applying africans are applying asians are applying india everywhere pakistan everybody is going to canada even in europe part of even in europe some people are in the uk they are still applying for jobs in canada some people are in germany some people are in italy they are all going to canada so you are not the only person going to apply so your cv should really 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 tell what you are you, you are going to do for the employer that will make the employer select you because thousands of people are applying for that same company so you have to prepare a good cv job opportunities can arise unexpectedly oh sorry unexpectedly job opportunities can arise unexpectedly i always tell you that job bank has no limit for the jobs every month they keep updating their website the jobs that were there last month is not there this month because they are they have expiry date for those vacancies so every month different different jobs are there so please note that an important sorry an updated modem sorry an updated modern resume is a key or is the key to a successful job search an updated modern resume is the key to a successful job search so this is a very brilliant sentence now i'm going to learn this sentence if you come and comment under my section i have applied for job bank they are not responding to me this is what i'll type there an updated modern resume is a key to a successful job search so if you are searching for jobs and you are not successful check your cv check your resume check your resume do a standard i am not the one saying the government of canada is saying so those who are joining me on youtube you can see i'm reading from the government of canada website under the job bank where they are teaching you what a good cv or a resume is the do's and the don'ts that is what we are doing in this section all right in this session if you are right here on youtube let me see your comments let me see your comments Portia says yes michael Banfi says michael in hamburg all right um kafu says hello please can i get your email address it's tips and gist tips and gist somebody said there are echoes really how do i fix that how do i fix that this echoes how do i fix it let me see is it okay now is it okay now um okay now abdul can is the echoes okay now richard says i am here all right all right i think it's better now let us proceed let us proceed mm, mm. ac is laughing ac linda is also here all right so guys let us proceed writings okay your resume the do's and the don'ts what you should avoid and what you should not uh, sorry what you should avoid and what you should do on your cv so writing your cv let's uh, let us look at the positive side what should come on your cv number one keep your resume clear and concise clear and concise okay clear and concise let me try and zoom this zoom it 150 is okay all right i think this is better now okay so your resume keep it clear and concise okay when you say something is clear it is not ambiguous okay it is it is free from ambiguity you can really read the cv and know that this is what the person is trying to say it shouldn't cause confusion that means it is clear in a clear language okay concise means it is brief it is brief it shouldn't be lengthy 
So an employer takes an average of 30 seconds to just skim the CV. That is what Job Bank is telling you. That the employer, they take 30 seconds. They just look at the CV just like this. Okay, just like this, just came in the CV. So you want them to see right away that you, you are qualified for the position. So that is why you shouldn't do four pages, five pages. No, at least one page or two pages is okay. Very clear and concise. Number two, you have to proofread your resume numerous times. When we say proofreading, it is about after the CV, you should go over and over and over again. So right after me, I design CV for people. I read over and over again. And when I send it to people, I tell them that, please read it for any mistakes before I even write your cover letter. That is what I do. So you see people telling me, tips. This place, the, the address is supposed to be this. Okay, that is very good because I did the proofreading. I didn't know your address, so I didn't see it. You know your address very well. So when I send it to you, you have to also proofread to alert me for that mistakes. All right. So you have to be sure that there are no spelling or grammar mistakes. You have to have someone else read it as well over. That is why I do it and I give it to you also, the, the one purchasing from me to do it. But if you are doing it yourself, after you do your CV, give it to somebody to also read it for you. A simple spelling mistake on a resume can give a negative impression to the employer. You, it can even prevent you from getting the job. Let's say your grammar is not good. Okay, it's just a simple spelling mistake. Just, it just can just let you not get the job. Okay, so try and correct all your grammar mistakes. That is why I was telling you that some of the websites we use for the CV is very cheap. But the one that I use is very expensive because it corrects all the grammar mistakes. So if I'm typing something and mistakenly I type a different thing, it's able to rectify and underline it for me. Okay, so these are some of the softwares to be able to avoid grammar mistakes. But if you can't afford that software and you have a software that is free, or probably you're paying like five pounds or ten pounds and they don't mark grammar mistakes please we are feeling it okay just look at it critically and see if there are no mistakes in your cv all right in your cv the third one is you have to limit your resume to two pages i already said it okay so two pages is okay limit it if you don't have about 10 years experience one page is enough okay so two pages or one page is okay or one and a half is okay maximum should be two pages this is a resume this is not a CV. Earlier, I explained the I explained the difference between a CV and a cover. Uh, sorry, a, a resume. Okay, so this is a resume, not a CV. Even if you are coming to a CV, they mean resume. Okay, they use it interchangeably. Actually, a CV we don't use it for job application. The CV is just there. So anytime you want to apply for a particular job, you pick some for information out of it. And that is how it is. All right. So it shouldn't be more than two pages. However, the CV can be eight pages and it will be there. It is there in your profile. So anytime you want to apply a job, just go and look at it and pick the relevant information out of the CV and prepare your resume. All right. You tailor your resume to suit the position you are applying for. I tell people all this. At this morning, I was talking to a, 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 a man in UK. I did a CV for the man. And um, it the job role that he wanted he's not having the experiences on his cv is not pertaining to that job role so when i wrote the cover letter i wrote the cover letter to suit the cv for him to get that a, a, a job role that would suit his cv and he said i should do it this way so i tried to explain it to him that look even though you want the job you don't have experience for those jobs okay this is the experience you have so go to job bank and there are lmis over there you can get that jobs with lmi so you have to resume to suit the position that you are applying for if your CV, your resume and the cover letter is not corresponding to the job you are applying for, it is a consonant thing that you are doing. The fourth one is highlight what you have accomplished. Okay, so what, whatever that you have accomplished, you, you should highlight it. Okay, just brief, 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 brief. It's highlighting. Okay, so when after a football match, 90 minutes, they give the sports highlights. You see, just like 15 seconds or 15 minutes, they do the highlights of where there, there were goals, where there were penalties. That is highlighting. Okay, so if you are preparing a CV, a resume, highlight your best examples, okay? Highlight your skills, okay? The skills that you have demonstrated. You shouldn't put everything there. You, we know that you have a, about 100 million skills and job experience, but highlight it. So Job Bank will tell you that your skills should be like 8 to 12. 8 to 12 is okay. And the experience should be like between um, 5 to 7 or 8 experience per Pay a job um, an employer is okay. So let's say you went for um, company number one. Okay, under company number one, five, six, seven, 
work experience is okay. You should write like 50 or 20. No, you should limit it to five, six, seven. Okay, for company number one, company number two. However, if you have worked for only just one company, then that one you have more room to make it about 12 or 15 or because you don't have any other companies. But if you, if you have two or three companies, then you should limit it to like five, five, five. Okay, if you have two companies, you can limit it to seven, seven. Okay, so at least it will be the same. Seven, seven is 14, five, five, five is 15. It's okay. If you have three companies, if you have one company, they can list all the 15. All right. So that is your experience. Okay. The another thing that Job Bank is telling you is that on your CV, you should be honest. Lying on your CV is not a, never a good idea because when you go there, you don't have that skills. You cannot do it. You have to have a, a, a confidence in whatever you do. So I always advise people that even though you have never done care job before, if you are indicating it, you have to indicate it that you have done some before because actually they will not pick you if you don't have the experience but in as much as you are doing it in as much as you are indicating that you've done care job before try and get some external um, uh, a website where you can learn something about care probably florence academy allison care learn it okay okay so that at least you are honest to yourself even though you lied on your cv you've been honest to yourself that okay now you know something you have an idea about care job okay so if you've never done cleaning job before, I know cleaning, you can do it. You can do it. So even if you lie, it's, it's not something that will be a bigger lie. Because when you, when you go to Canada, you can really do the cleaning. But there are some particular jobs you shouldn't lie. Like IT specialists and those things. If you know you don't know computer, my brother, if you go and do IT CV, you go and give it to them, you go. And the white man says, this is your, your office. Start working. You just be there. You don't even know how to use the computer. What, what is the white man going to do to you? So please be honest to yourself. Don't mislead the employer. All right. The fourth and uh, the other one is quantify your achievement. Quantify your achievements. So if you are doing um, the experiences, okay, and you said, oh, I did supervision for staffs there. I was a supervisor for staffs. So under the experience, you said sp supervision of staffs. At least you can say supervision of seven sp uh, staffs. Okay, if you were a supervisor and your staffs were seven, the staffs under you, you have to quantify it for the employer to know that, okay, you were supervising five or seven staffs. But if you said sup supervision of staffs, you never quantify it. The employer will never know if uh, the staffs were 100 or five or one or two. So at least if you quantify it's better. If you quantify it's better. God richly bless you, Margaret. God richly bless you. I do follow my gifters. So if I don't follow you another time, come and give to me again. Probably your gift might not be enough. Give to me a lot and I'll follow you. I'll follow you. All right. And those on YouTube, tap on the screen, okay? Just, just like the life. Tap on the screen, like the life. That is the best. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Okay, another thing that Job Bank is telling you or the government of Canada is telling you is to use a simple words and action verbs. Okay, simple words and action verbs. So example, you handled, I managed, I developed, I increased. So probably I handled um, patients, um, um, how do we call it, monitoring. Okay, I managed this, I led this, I developed this, I increased this, I accomplished this. That should be when you are writing your 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 experiences you should be using those words okay those simple and plain language okay so that the employer can really understand you the employer can really understand you all right include paid and unpaid jobs that shows off your skills in my a previous life when i was teaching how to design a cv and the resume somebody commented that do i add my national service to it yes all your paid and unpaid jobs once it is relevant to that job once you got skills there it is there so national service if you were doing an um, administrative assistant and now you are an administrator and you want to apply for administration work the national service that you did is relevant to the job because that time you were administrative assistant and as a national service or a volunteer even though they didn't pay you you still had some skills and experience that is relevant to the job that you are applying for so you have to add it you have to add it so you can add your volunteer paid and unpaid jobs to it okay if only it is relevant to the job that you are applying. Those who are just right here on TikTok, I am reading from the Government of Canada Job Bank. That is the website. Okay, there are rules and regulations pertaining to how you should pre present your CV or how you should design your CV. That is what we are discussing. All right. Those on YouTube, leave your comments and I'll read them later. Okay, when I'm on the website, I'm not able to read websites. Somebody is saying that, should I write a resume instead of a CV? Yes, if you are applying for a job, 
it should be a resume but it should have a cv there so that in case so let's say you are a teacher and you have done care job before or you've done cleaning and now you want a cleaning use the cleaning aspect to write your resume but have a cv that that uh, write a cv that is uh, having all um, um your c uh, your teaching the cleaning and everything that you've done okay that should be on your cv but if you are going to give it to the employer in canada who wants a cleaning the teaching that you did should be out okay it should be out even if it is there it is irrelevant to that man okay that man do not consider the uh, teaching that you did so um in canada the resume is very short uk will say a cv but actual things they said um, um um how do we call it a resume okay you don't understand because you were not here in our previous sessions so visit that video and you really appreciate whatever i am telling you now all right so um double check and include your contact information so when we were doing our first life okay our first life let me repeat this if you didn't come here in the morning to witness sorry in the afternoon to witness our first life please go and watch that video how to prepare a standard canada cv it will help you as for this one it's just rules and regulations this is not telling you how to do it it is just telling you rules and regulations so that you don't um, make mistakes all right so um the last rule here for the dues is double check and include your contact information so the contact information email address everything that you did on your cv as i told you earlier please double check to see if there are no mistakes if there's a mistake in the email address and they send you the employer respond to your message they will they will give it to a wrong email address you'll be there and say that this employer they didn't contact me probably they have sent a message to that email address and it was a wrong email address so please look at it very very well your name should be the name that you want the employer to notify you with okay to notice you okay so if you're having a, a, a passport it should be the name on your passport if you don't have a passport and you are yet to do a passport it should be the name that you use to do your passport let me put it that way okay all right writing a resume the don'ts so what we uh, we did is the do's what you should do so what you should not do when writing a canada cv for job bank if you want to apply for job on job bank and get lmi you move to canada with your wife and children you want a cv this is what you should not do make sure your email address is okay so the first thing is don't use an inappropriate email address that is what i said those jungles those nicknames email should be professional please it should show you okay so my name is elijah my email is always elijah or probably k elijah or something okay so at least if the employer it should contain some of your name or an abbreviation of your name that that the employer can say oh this email is coming from this person either than uh, it's right it's better than you going to use your um how do we call it your nickname okay slow queen at gmail.com what is that so please avoid those things so if you are here and your email address is just numbers it's just numbers or nicknames it has nothing to do with your name please you can add your name and numbers since probably somebody will be using your name already so you have to, but at least your name should be featured in one of your names or abbreviation of your names is better okay so make sure that your email is easy to read easy to type professional and non-offensive in general your email address should be based on your name exclude nicknames numbers and special characters that is what job bank is telling not tips and gist that is what job bank is telling you not tips and gist if you are here right on tiktok you can come on the youtube and appreciate whatever we are doing i can see the numbers decreasing on tiktok because you people don't want to learn that is why when you come here that i should do cv for you i charge you because when i teach you you don't learn always people are complaining tips teachers 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 today i'm doing cv I look at the number of people here the number of people on youtube is not even encouraging i have only 20 people and i have 40 people here that is 60. if i was talking about america Lotu, you see 200 people this is telling you africans we don't want to learn we always want people to do things for us and i will charge you i will charge you in pounds i will charge you in pounds it's 20 pounds that is why i'm teaching you how to do it i will teach those who want to do it but all right um, the second one is don't include unnecessary personal information. 
So any personal information that is irrelevant, you shouldn't include it. Example is your age. I see people's CV and they have their age. I'm 17 years, I'm 20 years, I'm 30 years. It should be out. Age is not. Weight, 52 kilograms, weight is not. Height should not be on. Marital status, you are single, you are widowed. Okay, my previous life, I told you that somebody gave me a CV and they said, the person said, you are a widow. It is not, it is not so, okay? Exclude it, exclude it. Don't bring your marital status. Religious preference, I'm a Christian, no. Political views, I'm MPP, I'm NDC, no. Personal attributes, no. It is not, okay? Don't bring it on your CV because it is very controversial. This will prevent any potential bias, okay? So in order not to be biased, don't bring it on. Don't even include your social security number and other things on your resume. All right. So please ignore that. If you have, just take your CV, a close look at your CV. If you have your age, your weight, your height, marital status, religious background, political views, other personal um, attributes, take it out. The only thing that should be there should be the do's, the ones that we did. So these are the don'ts. So take it out. All right. Another thing is don't include picture of yourself. I told you that Canada, they don't want a picture. So Job Bank is saying that although in some countries they may accept your photo, it is not normal in Canada. It can actually lower your chances of obtaining a position. So some people are complaining in the email sessions. I've been applying jobs in Job Bank. They are not calling me. Obejin is CV, Canada, a picture boss who say boy. You take their CV and you see their pictures on it. Meanwhile, it is against the rules of Job Bank. The government who is giving you the job on his pl a platform on, on their platform is saying that don't bring your don't put photo and your cv you're having photo and you want them to call you no so you want the employer to focus on your skills and experience not what you look like okay so don't the employer shouldn't see whether you're beautiful or handsome no you shouldn't be there just focus on the skills and experience so don't include a picture of yourself on your resume or on your cv all right don't bullet too much don't bullet too much. Make sure that your resume is easy to read. Limit the subsessions to five to seven bullets. So the experience, at least five to seven experience is okay. Five to seven experience is okay. Okay. So it shouldn't be a lot. So if you're bulleting company number one, it, the, this is the name, this is their location. I did this, I did that. At least five experience or seven experience is okay. Don't bullet a lot. Don't bullet a lot. All right. Don't use personal pronouns like i he she i see people see me and i was like and when you go to the experience they'll be like i monitor vital signs i do this i clean kitchen i cook i it shouldn't be i it should be monitoring of vital signs cooking okay just be specific don't be i do this i know you should write it in such a way that you avoid the personal pronouns okay all right don't simplify or list job responsibilities. Sorry, don't simplify list job responsibilities. Your job duties would be obvious on your from your job title, okay? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. They are saying don't simply list job responsibilities. Oh, okay. So they are saying that don't just list it, okay? Don't just list the responsibilities. Okay, so your job duties will be obvious from your job title. Instead, highlight your achievements. So um, let's say you are a nurse. We all know what nurses do, but what are the achievements you got as a nurse, the experience you got as a nurse that make you unique from another nurse? That is what you should write. So they are saying that don't simply list your job responsibilities, but rather focus on the achievements that will make you different from another nurse. Okay, that will make you different from another nurse. If you are a cleaner, we know the responsibilities of cleaners, but what is making you different from other cleaners? That is why I say when I, whenever I am preparing a CV for somebody, I look at job bank. If the person wants customer service, I go on job bank. I search customer service for um, LMA customer service jobs. I look at their work experiences, what they want you to have. And that is what I paraphrase on your CV. I make sure that I want the achievements because I know the, the, the rules for cleaners. But the, the company that you want to apply in Canada, what achievement do they want from you? So I have to go on Job Bank and look at it to design. That is why I tell you that avoid using AI. Somebody came here and be like, AI cannot never go to Job Bank. AI don't know where you are using the, the CV for, what you are using the CV for. 
So if you say, hey, I write a CV for me, the AI cannot go to job bank to go and look for LMI companies, look at their skills and experience, the experience that they want from you and come and put it in the CV for you. That is why I tell you that do your investigation and do the right thing so that your CV can meet job bank requirements. All right. We are about to finish. I'll, I'll, I'll complete very soon. Okay, guys, don't make general statements. Don't make general statements. So example is steer clear from vague statements that do not highlight your actual contribution. Unclear statements such as responsible for improving efficiencies, making cost savings. What is that? Okay, it does not make sense. Okay, so don't just make general statements, but make specific statements. Okay, so it does not provide any information to the employer. So you have to personalize your experience. So if you say responsible for improving efficiencies and making costs, those reading on YouTube, you can really see what they are saying here. Something like this, you yourself, when you read it, does it make sense to you? It does not make sense to you. So the employer will not even know what you, you are talking about this. If this is your experience, responsible for improving efficiencies and making costs, cost savings. It, it, it does not be specific okay you have to be spe uh, personalize your experience not a general thing this is general thing but personalize it okay personalize it don't include reasons for leaving your previous jobs i i i always see this they would definitely be company number one company number two just state where 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 you started when you started and when you left don't give the reason okay don't give the reason why you left if they suck you don't don't include it if you you left deliberately, don't include it. And you have to know which you mean. I do manage me na employer na person one me da. Enti na mami jaya na me de happy de happy. Your CV don't give any reason for leaving that job. Just state it. I worked here for four years. Okay, June twenty twenty, June twenty ten to uh, July twenty fourteen. Four years, and I went to this company. So it should be bulletin. And you, have to him. You, are, you don't have to explain to the employer the reason why you left that company. They are not interested. All right. So and they are saying don't include references. This is this is what I wanted to explain earlier. Job Bank is saying don't include references. Why are they saying don't include references? They are saying that keep references on a separate sheet and provide them only when they are specifically requested. All right. So. You see, employers only require references if they are seriously considering hiring you. So if an employer wants to hire you, that is when they, they consider reference. So job bank has two ways. It is either you go there, you email the employer. So if you are emailing the employer, that is between you and you and the employer. So such a CV, you have to bring reference on it because you are sending message to the employer directly that they should consider you, okay? you didn't go to job bank for the employer to come and look for you no you are mailing the employers and in fact it is a private message email is a private message so when you go on job bank and you are not making the application on job bank but you are picking the email of the employer to message them then please you can add your reference because they will still even ask for it but if you are going on job bank to paste your cv there that employer should contact you then please avoid your reference you cannot put people's data your 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 employer's information on it okay your supervisor's telephone number don't put it on your cv if you are going to put it on job bank for employers to locate you but if you are going to take email address of employers and contact them then it should be on your cv that is what they are saying let me show you something here let me show you something here this is job bank you know that job bank you can actually put something there and you store your resume online okay so you can when you create a job bank account they have a section where you can upload your cv and alert employers to look for you but hey ghana we don't have time we are not staying there for the employers to come and look for us we are going to look for the employers so this is given to those in canada okay this is just a general rule for canadians canadians also use job bank africans also use job bank so if you're in canada and you are very relaxed you can go and put your um cv there and employers can locate you. For instance, I have a CV on CV Library in the UK. CV Library is a very big website where you can apply for jobs in the UK. And what we do is you go and put your CV there. So it's a CV Library. So the employers, they go to CV Library. Okay, it's a library of all CVs. So they go there and they go and look at people's CV and they'll contact you if they're interested. Okay, so we have that opportunity here in the CV, in the UK, and I have my CV over there. Such a CV, I will not put the details of my employer. No, my my reference. No, 
Okay, Nana Nyamin Shao. Such such a CV, I will not such a place because it's a very broad place. It's a very broad platform. I don't know who the employer is. So I cannot put my super, supervisor's telephone numbers there, out there. So my, my reference side will be available upon request or available on request. But if I have email address of an employer and I am contact, contacting the employer, then I have to because men trusting and getting to me chatting. Okay, men trusting the a scammer and getting to me chatting. May trust you know. So if I have the email address of the employer, then I would just I would just put it there because even if I don't, they, they will ask for it. I have a company in the UK. I applied for a job. I did a CV. My CV it my my reference was available on request. They asked me to make amendment to my CV. They said change your CV and put your referees there. I placed my CV. I gave them two referees from Ghana. Actually, that was my first job in UK, and I I didn't have experience in the UK because I, I was new here. And so all my experience was in Ghana. I gave them two experience, uh, two referees, okay? Two re referees from one from my hospital and one from uh, another place. They contacted them and later they said it was not enough. They wanted another referee in the university in the UK here because actually the people in Ghana was able to tell who I was, okay, like I was hardworking, um, who I am, sorry, I, I, I'm hardworking, I am this, I'm that, I'm that, but they didn't really believe them, so they wanted um, a lecturer here in the university here to really give another uh, recommendation that, okay, I'm respectful in class, I am calm, I'm doing, okay, so I had to give them another referee, so the employers can go very, very wild distance just to believe you before they can call you for interview, I tell you, it might be easier in other platforms, other other countries, but UK employers can do anything. So if you are doing any referee that you put on your CV, be very, very careful. Don't fake referees. Any employer that you put them on your CV, at least give them a copy of your CV. That boss, um, I remember my boss at um, Holy Family Hospital Emergency Department, I used um, her for my CV. I told her, I gave her a copy. My boss at the COVID unit, I also give another referee from the COVID center there. Um, I give um, him a copy for them to be aware so that if an employer contacts them, they can know because the employers, they used to ask, that's Mr. So-so and so, okay, they will say my name, they will say my full name to my employer that, hello boss, this person says they, uh, they were working with you at Holy Family Hospital. Can you please fill the form for us? And on the form, it is about what was the job duty? What was the job roles? Will you recommend him to us? What is um, the, the skills and experience that that person, you observe that person? Who are you to them? Okay, are you a supervisor to him or whatever? Okay, um, can you tell us the date he started the job and the date he, he left? They want to make sure that it's, it corresponds to the date on the CV. So if you don't give your referees a copy of your CV, how can they be able to fill it? How can they be able to fill it? And most of the companies, if the referees don't give your recommendation, they will never call you for interview. So you apply for the job, you'll be there, you'll be there, you'll be there. They will never call you for interview. So reference is very, very important. Reference is very, very important. If you are going to put your, your CV on a big platform for employers to come and look for you, you don't need reference. You don't need reference. But if you are going to chat the employer privately through email through whatsapp then you need employ do you need a reference in the uk here somebody can just give you um a link that oh bro i i got i saw this job and um, oh, my company is they want people okay my company they want people a part-time probably you can just chip in there and it'll just give you the, the the whatsapp number of the recruiter so you can also apply jobs through whatsapp or something but if you're in ghana you're applying to canada you don't know the employer so you have to go through job bank okay but if you're in the uk and there's a job here or you're in canada there and there's a job they can just link you up and that's what people are doing and that is why people started selling cos lmis and that because they are having the links instead of them to link you up that bro see don't even waste your time to go on job bank the the, the job is on job bank but if you go there you cannot search for them this is their website or this is their email address just contact them directly the person who know it will just sell it to you that is what they are doing to people in canada when they go for conference and they said we can get lmi for you they say look we are charging you twenty thousand canadian dollars eighteen thousand canadian dollars and it's really painful they are having the links but they will not give it to you so you have to go to job bank and search it yourself you have to go there and search it yourself. The same thing is happening for to UK. 
The care jobs are there. The care companies are there. Other companies are there. But people are having their links. What are they doing? They will not give it to you for free. They will say, you have to give us something. You have to give us, pay us in pounds before we give you the COS or whatever. That is that. Either than that, there, there was nothing like that. You have to go online and search for the company. But we are reluctant to go online. They don't even respond to us because we are not able to look for the right companies. We are probably applying for the wrong companies. When you go on Job Bank, there are about 1 million jobs on Job Bank. Can you even know that this is the right company? For all you know, about only 10 people are in need of people from Ghana. So how can you really know that this is the company? That is why I tell you that please always keep applying. Keep applying till a company call you. Keep applying, never quit. Keep applying until they call you. Keep applying. Either than that, then you should prepare to go and pay money to somebody who will link you up. Don't come to tips and gist. I don't do that. I hate that. I don't even do that. Go to those um, travel and tour people. They do that. And if you go there, most of them, they will even take their money and they will not even give you a positive result. And that is really painful. I'm just trying to alert you. And yes, I make an internet web chat me tips. When the company be away, I am with I don't even know any company. I've not even been to Canada before. Okay, I don't know any company. I'm just teaching you the right thing to do. All right. Ah, um, let's continue. Let's continue. Um, somebody says, um, tips. Well, what are you writing? My what of writing my full date? Don't bring your date of birth. Don't bring your date of birth. Okay, don't bring your date of birth. All right, don't bring your date of birth. The do's and the don'ts, please take it very, 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 very well. Okay, don't make mistakes. The do's and the don'ts, don't make mistakes. They are very, very important. All right, so let's continue. We are last but one. The reference it is very important. That is why I have wasted much time here. So the last one is don't include hobbies interest if it is not relevant to the job that was what i was telling you so it is not recommended to mention hobbies because of the judgment potential employers can make you get it however your hobbies if your hobbies relate to the position you may include it as they demonstrate to the employer that you're you're good so don't include your hobbies and interests because it makes the employer judgmental for instance if you say your hobby is is singing the employer might think that if you come to their company instead of you working hard You'll be singing and you will not be able to focus or you be, if you say my, my hobby is listening to music they might think that as you are working if they are not there you'll be playing music and instead of doing the job so please if the hobby is not related to the job that you are applying take it out don't include it this is not tips and just saying this is canada job bank or the government of canada so those on youtube here and the discussion for the day okay these are the do's and the don'ts let me just try to summarize it so that i know that most of you uh, i didn't get all all here so the first one the do's the first one keep your resume clear and concise the second proofread your resume numerous times the third one limit your resume to two pages the fourth one tailor your resume to suit the position you are applying for the fifth highlight what you are you have accomplished the sixth one you have to be honest the seven quantify your achievements the eight you've used simple words and action verbs nine include unpaid works that show off your skills okay okay so paid and unpaid works even if they show your skills they are relevant to the job you're applying include it okay and the last one is double check and include your contact information now the don't the don't what you should avoid the first one, do not use inappropriate email address. The email address should be professional. The email address, do not use inappropriate. Another one is don't include unnecessary personal information. Unnecessary personal information, don't include it. The third one is don't include a picture of yourself. Don't include a picture of yourself. The fourth one is don't use too many bulletins too many bulletin the fifth is don't use personal pronouns personal pronouns the sixth don't simply list the job responsibilities don't simply list it just go to the specific um, um experiences or achievements that you have okay another one is don't make general statements but personalize your experience okay another one is don't use don't include the reasons why you left a particular job role okay so why you left your previous jobs don't include it. Don't include references 
Okay, that is why I taught you that if you are going to upload it on a bigger platform where employers will come and see, don't include it. But if you are emailing them, then you can, okay, you can. That is why they are saying that you have to keep your reference in a separate sheet and provide them if only they are they are requesting it. All right. And um, the other one is don't include your hobbies or interest. Don't include hobbies or interest. All right. All right. If it is not um good or if it is not relevant to that kind of job if it is not relevant so guys i hope you guys are okay we have streamed 45 minutes and these are the do's and the don'ts of job bank if you are here and you want to apply for canada jobs jobs that will give you visa sponsorship jobs that will give you labor market impact assessment lmia these are the do's and the don'ts i always say that blacks as we are we don't like learning look at the number of people on youtube look at the number of people on tiktok i have 40 people on tiktok i have 20 people here 60 people listening to me and always you want me to waste my time and come and teach you how to do cv this is my first and last i told you that previously i used to do cv teachers about um three months ago i taught it like four times people didn't show interest and i had to stop and now I will say, come and pay, come and pay. And now people are saying, we don't have money. We cannot afford 20 pounds. Now I'm teaching you, look at the number of people here. It is very, 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 very um, disheartening. Because Ghanaians, we are, we don't want to learn. We want to travel. We want agents. We want to travel. But we don't want to learn how to do things. You want um conference to go to Canada. Do you have a CV? When you go to Canada, CV Ben are the Kakoye LMI. Do you have it? Have you designed a CV? No. But open conference are called. Obay and make a conference. And can you see 100 people here? 60 people on YouTube. One sister. But and I make sure how to do a CV. I'll be to media copy, Juma. Look at the number of people here 17 people here, 40 people here, 60. So um, this will be on YouTube. Now, before I end my discussion, whenever you need a CV and a resume or a resume and you cannot design it yourself, I will charge you and I will do it for you. If you are interested, I will do a Canada standard CV. Since I have learned it, I have been taught, I have learned it and I can do it for you. You can purchase it from me. Okay. You can purchase it for me and you will really have a good thing. Okay. Whenever you want to also write and um, you forgot something, you can come and stream here right on YouTube and you will get it. Okay, so here and the discussion, whatever I say here is not has nothing to do with what we learn. So if you're on YouTube, you can I can say bye bye to you, bye bye to you. But my email remains tips and just at gmail.com. Tips and just at gmail.com. If you email me, it is pay before I do it for you. 20 pounds or 300 cities. That is for those who want a CV from me. If you want to do it yourself, just visit the video and do it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, everybody on YouTube.